All right, hey, what's going on guys? I feel nice and warmed up already and I get straight to what I'm trying to do today, which is just a little bit more work on the feebles. I wanna build some consistency today to regular. In my last couple videos you guys seen, I was getting them to fakey quite a bit, which is okay, but it is not the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to get them consistent to regular and then eventually start raising the height of the rail. I'm on the lowest out of three settings right now and start getting more consistent feeble grinds so I can take them to the parks around here and feel a little bit more confident with that trick. I'm gonna try out a new trick today and if I can land that I'm gonna go back to the big spin so we're gonna try fakey big flips today but yeah let's get to the feeble grinds and I'll catch you guys in a minute I'm gonna try something new all right just landed my first half cab board it was very ugly very slow but believe it or not, I have never landed a trick before. I don't even think I've attempted it. Maybe once or twice when I was a kid and I had slipped out and decided to throw that on the back burner forever, until now. Granted, the rail is on its lowest setting, so I can kind of just pivot onto it, but I do need to pop just a little bit to get off the ground. I do want to get another one a little bit faster, a little bit cleaner. Yeah, so I guess we'll just go for it, see what happens, and then we'll move on. I don't know what else we're gonna try today, but who knows, let's just go for it. All right, we just landed a decent half cab board slide. Never tried that trick before, but it turned out well. It was honestly a little awkward at first because like I've said a million times in my videos, my normal half cabs are absolute garbage. Although I can half cab flip, half cab heel. I don't know, my half cabs are usually doo-doo. I landed a nice clean half cab board slide. We'll work on those in the coming weeks, in the coming days. I want to work on another half cab based trick, which is going to be that fakey big flip. So I don't know if we're going to be able to do it or not. I'm just going to send a couple, see how it works and uh, yeah, give it a shot. Hopefully we land one, right? Let's go. I just landed my first fakie big flip. It was honestly pretty clean. I'm gonna see if I can get another one rolling this way towards the camera so I can get another angle just to see what it looks like. I got another flat ground trick, checked off the bucket list in my bag. Again, it's not consistent, but we landed one and where there's one, there's a lot more to come. So let's try and do one more, maybe do some big spins, maybe get back on the rail. Let's see how we feel after we get this next fakie big flip. I like that last one, so I'm going for one more. Two decent fakie big flips. Had a couple in between that I either took a spill or two on or landed halfway. That's a new trick, two to make it true. It took me a while to land that second one and it was definitely not as clean as the first, but it's a new trick in the bag and I'm definitely stoked about that. I'm gonna take a little break, give my legs a rest, rehydrate. I'm gonna go ahead and do some more feeble grinds. I know you guys are probably sick and tired of me doing feeble grinds, you're probably sick and tired of seeing feeble grinds, but hey, one of these days, I'm gonna be sending these things down handrails, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna happen. I do wanna get this feeble grind on the highest setting on this rail one of these days. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw a couple, if I can land a couple back to back, I might raise the rail height today just by one setting and try them at a higher height. Maybe it's actually gonna be easier at a higher height, so who knows, maybe I'll just try it regardless and see what happens. So let's do some feeble grinds and I'll catch you guys after that.
All right, I'm saying screw it. I didn't land as many feebles as I wanted to, but I'm gonna raise the height of the rail anyway and go for it. Maybe it'll make it easier to lock in. Maybe my problem is that I'm ollieing a little too high, but who knows, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and challenge myself, raise the height of the rail and try a trick I'm not so comfortable trying on a different height setting. I guess we'll see what happens, right? on for dear life and I think I slipped down to a board slide but I did hit it at the second highest setting so we're gonna try a couple more times see if we can get a little consistent see if that was not just a fluke yeah, and just keep trying right all right that's two back to back on the second highest setting I'm gonna try a couple more I have about 15 minutes left so let's see if I can just bang some more out and see what happens let's go I did not slip out that time. Toe touch, but whatever. Oh my God. Slipped out that time. That's okay. We're getting somewhere. Yes. Oh, that feels good. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I try to get in the feeble grind, going the opposite way than I normally do it, just so I can get used to approaching the rail from both sides and doing it the opposite way, honestly, took a little bit of work, I'm not gonna lie. I also didn't have that much of a run up and the run up I did have was super, super rough. I got a couple feeble grinds to regular at the middle height and some to fakie at the middle height. So honestly, I'm pretty stoked about that. That and I got some fakie big flips, which is honestly awesome. We made some decent progress today. Always working on new stuff. I'm not gonna come out here and really train on old stuff unless it's a flip trick or something or grind like the uh, the crooked grind that's gonna take me a couple sessions to get. That being said, next time I come out here and I'm doing feeble grinds, I'm gonna start my session with the rail at this height and who knows, maybe we'll lift it to the, the max height and give them a shot there. Bro, this is the second session I've had this old lady watching me from the woods. She's literally in the tree line, like outside the parking lot, just watching me. It is the creepiest thing and it's so distracting because like, I don't know what the hell she's doing. She's just over there staring at me. It's kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like if you liked the video, subscribe, of course, only if you want to. Leave a comment below. You guys know I always respond to all the comments. That being said, keep shredding, stay safe. I love y'all, and peace out.